Welcome to pre-math. In this video we have got these uh, two concentric uh, circles with a common center O as you can see in this given diagram and as a result we get this uh, blue shaded uh, ring and the area of this uh, blue shaded ring has been given to us uh, as uh, 7 pi square units and moreover we got this uh, segment uh, AB that is uh, tangent to this uh, blue circle at this point uh, P and now our task is uh, to calculate the value of this uh, segment length uh, AB please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's assume the radius uh, of this uh, big circle is uppercase R and the radius of this uh, small uh, blue circle uh, as uh, lowercase r. And here is our next step. We are going to connect this center O with this uh, point uh, P. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, OP is the radius of this uh, small blue circle. And we know the radius is lowercase uh, r. And now let's recall the circle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees. So no wonder this angle has got to be our 90 degree angle. Since this is our radius uh, and this uh, is our tangent line. And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. According to this theorem, uh, if a radius uh, of the circle is uh, perpendicular to the chord, then the radius uh, bisects the chord. And here we can see this segment uh, AB is the chord. And this uh, radius OP is uh, perpendicular to this uh, chord. So therefore, according to this uh, theorem, this uh, AP segment uh, is going to be equal to this uh, BP segment. So therefore, uh, this point P is going to be our midpoint for this uh, chord. And now in this uh, next step, I am going to connect uh, this center O with vertex uh, B. As you can see in this uh, next step, and as a result, we got this uh, right uh, triangle. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle OPB. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, OB represents the radius uh, of this uh, large uh, circle. So this is going to be our uppercase R radius. And moreover, let's assume that this uh, segment uh, PB length uh, is uh, X. Then this uh, AP segment length uh, is going to be X uh, as well. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here is our Pythagorean theorem. A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is uh, uppercase uh, R whereas uh, our two legs uh, are uh, lowercase r and x. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x uh, square plus lowercase r square equal to uppercase r whole square. And now we are going to move this uh, lowercase r square uh, on the other side. So therefore we are ended up with the uh, x square equals to uppercase uh, r square uh, minus lowercase uh, r square. I'm going to label this one as our equation number one. And here's our next step. We are going to calculate the area of this uh, big circle and the area of the small uh, circle as well. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square where r represents the radius of the circle and we know the radius of this uh, big circle is uppercase r so therefore uh, the area of this big circle is going to be pi times uh, uppercase r whole square and we know the radius of this uh, small blue circle is lowercase r so therefore the area of this uh, small circle is going to be pi times lowercase r whole square and now let's make an observation by looking at this uh, equation we can see the blue shaded ring area is equal to the area of the big circle minus uh, the area of the small circle. 
and we can see the area of this uh, blue shaded ring area has been given to us as uh, 7 times pi so therefore this uh, blue shaded area I'm going to replace it by 7 times pi over here the big uh, circle area we have a uh, pi times uppercase r square so I'm going to replace uh, pi uppercase r square and finally this small circle area is uh, pi times lowercase r square so I'm gonna replace uh, over here so therefore we got uh, 7 times uh, pi equal to pi uppercase r square minus uh, pi times lowercase uh, r square and now we are going to divide by pi across uh, the board to make our job simple and here we can see this pi cancels out with this pi pi is gone with this one and this pi is gone with this one so therefore uh, we are ended up with uh, uppercase r square minus uh, lowercase r square turns out to be seven units and i'm going to label this one as our equation number two so thus we are ended up with these uh, two equations and we are going to compare these uh, two equations in the first equation we got uh, x square equal to uppercase r square minus lowercase uh, r square and in this uh, equation 2 we got uppercase r square minus lowercase uh, r square equal to 7 so therefore uh, we can write uh, that x square equal to 7 and now we are going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both sides and here we can see square and square root uh, undo each other so therefore uh, our x uh, length uh, turns out to be square root of uh, 7 and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole segment uh, a b is uh, x uh, plus x uh, that is going to make it uh, 2x so thus our segment uh, a b is uh, 2 times uh, x and our x value is square root of 7 so therefore uh, our this uh, segment a b length is going to be 2 times uh, I'm going to substitute this x value as square root of 7 over here so our a b length turns out to be 2 times square root of 7 uh, units so thus after all the calculations and manipulations our uh, a b length uh, turns out to be 2 times uh, square root of 7 uh, units and that is going to be approximately equal to 5.29 uh, units uh, as well and that's our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.